All right, guys. All right. So Creative Assembly, they've announced their new, quote, historical, end quote, Total War. Uh, it's been, what, since 2017, since we had a historical Total War? Um, you know, because Three Kingdoms was, I mean, barely historical. It's more fantasy than anything else. It's like inspired by history, you know what I mean? And then you got Troy, which is more or less the same thing. And even with Troy, they were like, you know what? <laughs> we'll just make a, a myth DLC where you add monsters. Because it's like at that point, there might, it just feels weird without monsters. You know, it's, it feels so fake. It might as well have like Medusas and, and stuff. Uh, so I'm on, you know, you know, is this historical? I don't know. Is it inspired by history? Sure. Uh, but I'm not really expecting this to be, I am expecting it to be like Troy and to, you know, like I, it's just ever since uh, Warhammer came out, they've just tried to like do this thing where they like blend Warhammer with history. It's like, no, 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 we don't, we don't want that. Or at least I, I don't know. I can't. I mean, I can't speak for everyone because, you know, I'm like old news now. So, like, I oh, stick, to, stick to your, stick to your old games, old man. You know, it's like, it's how it feels. You know, it's just like, I, I don't know. I just can't get excited for anything new. But you know, it's like, well, why are you making the video? I don't know because I'm tired of playing Rome 2 over and over and over and over. You know, an Empire, Napoleon. I, I want to play something new and get immersed in it and just like feel like I'm a pharaoh. You know, like. Legit LARP as a pharaoh, that sounds pretty sweet. So in terms of like the genre or the setting, I, I, I like I like ancient Egypt. I think it's actually a really cool period. So I'm not necessarily disappointed by the time. I'm what I'm what I'm concerned about is like when they do these like really old, old ancient history um you know um areas of his you know, when they cover these areas of history there's a lot of leeway to creativity, which isn't necessarily bad, but if we look at Troy, the thing that Troy did well was, I suppose, their campaign. They had a lot of cool features in the campaign. I love the art style of the campaign as well. It was very, like, mythic and everything, but the battles were so disappointing. I just couldn't play it. I just couldn't play it, guys. So, I'm hoping that they make the battles here. What am I? Who am I kidding? You know it's gonna be like total Warhammer light. It's gonna feel like a reskin of Warhammer. But uh, again, I, this is my speculation. I don't know for sure, but it's gonna just be like Warhammer. Uh, it's like it's gonna feel like a mod, you know? And they're just gonna have like over the top Egyptian looking uh, spearmen or something, you know? And it's just so sad. I wish they would put more into the mechanics of battle rather than, I don't know. You know, I just wish there was, so like, you know, it's funny. I was looking at someone's comment. I was reading the comments of uh, announcement videos and stuff. And someone was like, someone said something to the lines of, Oh, I, you know, I really just can't get excited for his story. And when I first read it, I was like, oh, yeah, me too, bro. I, I totally agree with you. And he's like, he goes, I just can't get excited for historical titles anymore. And I was expecting him to be like, they just, they feel like Warhammer light. You know, they don't feel real, you know, like the older ones. And then, no, he just went on about how Warhammer has such great unit diversity and and you know I, he doesn't want to play with the same spear units that everybody has and it's boring and it's like well you're clearly you know you probably started playing when warhammer was out because the way you make it interesting and because i want history and what the way you make it interesting is through first off like that's wrong i mean you can have very interesting cool units from different cultures i mean that's that's the first thing second thing is like if you make the mechanics really cool and interesting and lifelike i don't need you know some fat frog you know puking on uh some elf girl you know like i don't need that i need i, I i'm totally just completely will be immersed in into it if the mechanics are fun and feel lifelike and you're actually a general on an ancient battlefield like that is what i'm hoping for so you know this trailer doesn't really show much so i can't really say anything about the gameplay uh but yeah I, I, correct me if i'm wrong maybe i'm wrong I, you know i don't i'm just i just because i don't really know exactly when the time period is and i know there was a nubian takeover egypt I think it lasted for like 200 years that like rebelled or something like that. Egypt has such a rich and, and beautiful history. It, it, you know, it's just, ah, oh, it's just one of those civilizations that are just so 
mesmerizing to learn about and that's why i'm i'm excited in terms of the setting i think it could be interesting but i know that it's gonna be like troy and it's gonna be like these boring ass battles and it's gonna be you know not uh, it's gonna be like warhammer light Cre hope uh, hopefully i'm wrong Hopefully I'm wrong, but um, I'm not expecting much from this game. Will I play it? O honestly, this guys, I know like, <laughs> like what three years ago I was like totally boy boycotting Total War. Like if it, it, it was so, I mean like honestly, like I just I I can't play the same games over and over, and it's hard to branch out because I've kind of like really like solidified my channel to being a Total War channel and just completely stopping total war i guess i should have just like faked a smile and just like yeah warhammer yeah you know like whoa it's so cool the unit diversity is so cool you know it's like the battles feel like there's like five guys yeah whatever i'm not gonna it's a broken record but um you know i like i i will say like i hope i'm sure the campaign will be interesting they constantly improve the campaigns but they kind of leave the the battles behind anyways i don't want this to be like a forever long uh, video let me know what you guys think of the uh, uh, announcement down below um, but yeah um, where I'm at I'm at a well let's wait and see uh, I see people getting so excited about this I'm, I don't know maybe I'm cynical I don't am I cynical it's just like I just want a good game and I want a game that feels like you're there in history I don't want to be I don't want to feel like this is like a, a game. I, you know what I mean? Like, that's why I play NTW3, you know, even that new Empire 2 Generals. It's like, it feels so lifelike and grand and epic, you know? And this, the new ones just feel so gamey. They just feel like games. Oh, well, it's about making money. You got to make money. You got to attract a bigger audience, buddy. It's like, ah, all right. That just makes me sad, you know? You know, that mentality. It's like, we got to constantly grow. It's like why why can't you just be happy like why can't you just make hey we're making x amount this is good like we can make this every year but like no companies are like we got to make more every year at the end of every year are we making more money we need more offices we need to make more games it's like no just just make a good game and i don't know it's it's sad because look at three kingdoms look at troy the, at times i forget those are games you know i forget that they were made uh nobody plays them you know, games used to have such long shelf lives, you know what I mean? Like, like people still play Medieval 2, damn it. It's been, like, over 10 years, and people are still playing Medieval 2. But who's playing Troy? You know, like, a handful of people, you know? that's It's just so dead, and it's barely been out. It's just sad. It's just sad. So I feel like, you know, it's Creative Assembly just, like, Oh, everybody gets excited. You're like, oh, Troy is coming out, guys. I can play as Achilles or Hector. It's going to be. And then, like, six months later, it's like, well, it wasn't that good. It's like, doesn't matter. CA's got your money. You know, I, I don't know. It's weird. Anyways, guys, that's where I stand with this game. Um, will I play it? Probably, because, uh, like I said, I'm so tired of playing the same damn games over and over. And, uh, you know, Total War is such a unique game. Uh, style of game there's nothing else out there you know so it's kind of like total monopoly you got to just deal with it whatever they got is what they got um but thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed bye